No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. What's up, Internet? We are here with Gabriel from Sound Devices, and we are looking at the new Pix E5 five inch recording field monitor. Um, this is, looks like a pretty cool unit. Um, walk us through it. That's a great intro, by the way. It's exactly that. It's a field recording monitor. Uh, the purpose of this product is to give a high resolution monitor to any type of camera that you have. So uh, the, there are two sizes, there's a five inch and a seven inch. And in the five inch, there are two different flavors. The There's a five inch with HDMI only. And then the other five inches, HDMI and SDI. Now, screen quality was something that we really focused on. So we have high quality, very bright LCD displays, about 500 nit. Uh, the five inch is 1920 by 1080. And I think they're about 441 PPI. So high resolution. It's a great tool to have on your camera. It happens to record 4K. So uh, if you need to record it and you want to record 4K, raw on your camera and 4K ProRes on your monitor, you can do that. So we use this speed drive. It looks like a big thumb drive, but in reality, it's just an enclosure. If you remove the lid, there is a spot for an MSATA drive. And you can get MSATA drives, Tiger Direct, Newegg, different electronic stores. Uh, you drop it in, and as long as it's listed on our approved media site, it'll work. So. When this speed drive is inserted into the field monitor, it'll record at the speed of the MSATA. When you remove it from your monitor and insert it into your recorder, it'll record at USB 3 speeds. So that's the media. Uh, we're going to be offering one, which is a 240 gig MSATA drive for $260. But the, just the enclosure itself, it's 60 bucks. So if we go through the monitoring features, it has everything that you would want in a monitor. You got waveform monitors, different settings, your RGB overlay, Luma green, Luma white. Uh, it's obviously touch. Uh, you have lookup tables as well. You have Canon log, ARRI log, and then S log, S log two, and three. This all just come standard with it? This all comes standard with it, exactly. Uh, peaking, and you see that flash peaking. It's just a, another way to the traditional peaking to get focus set in. So it can be for a camera op. It could be used for a video assist. It could be used for a DP. A DP may prefer the seven inch. Camera op, the video assist guy may prefer the five inch. They all have the tap zoom feature. And they just, if they need to track movement or just go where they need to go, tap, go in, and, and everything's set. So in essence, uh, it's a really high end monitor. We use Gorilla Glass, so high impact, uh, scratch resistant. The case is made out of aluminum. So it's a very rugged feel. Uh, you can run it on batteries. You don't have to. You can run it off an external uh, DC input if you have one battery for both camera and monitor. Right. Like I said, if you need to record, you have that option. Excellent. Um, and what kind of batteries does it run on? Uh, Sony L mounts. It has two slots. Okay. So the uh, five-inch HDMI only is eleven ninety-five. The uh, SDI version of the five-inch is thirteen ninety-five, and then the seven-inch is going to be fifteen ninety-five. Excellent. And when do you think these are going to hit the market? We're shooting for summer. Awesome. Well, thanks, Gabriel. Thank you, That's guys. Awesome.